Hey guys, what I wanted to teach you today was about pricing your house. So why this is so important is that there really is a strategy to pricing a house. So let's say you want to get the most for your house. Well, what you're going to do is probably look at the houses around you, see what they're going for, and then price it higher. So there is a very strategic uh, way to do this. So if you want to try to get your house um, higher than what a lot of the houses are going for in the area, you got to be smart about it. You can go ahead and try and test that price point, but what's very important is that if your house doesn't sell within the first two weeks, you're going to want to immediately lower that price. That is the best time to sell your house is within the first two weeks or so while the listing is really fresh, you have a lot of eyes looking at that listing. If it gets to the 30 days and the 45 days and the 60 days, now that's called days on market, 60 days on market, or even it, your house really starts getting stale. It's what's called a stale listing. People are gonna be like, hey, what's wrong with that house? Um, why isn't it selling? And really what you gotta do is think like a buyer. What would you do if you saw a house that's been on the market for really 30 days is kind of the mark. 30 days, 45 days, you're like, hey, it's been on the market, they're probably getting a little bit desperate, let's go put in a low ball offer. And you're gonna get way less than what you're asking for. So really it's important, even when the market's going up like right now, you really gotta be smart about it. You can go ahead and try to test the market and try to get a little bit more than what maybe your neighbor got if it's a similar house, but do it smart. If you're not getting those offers, drop it right away. Um, you do not want your house to get stale. And you know what? With the way the appraisals are um, right now, you're, you can't get much more anyways. Even if you did get somebody who's gonna give you that offer for whatever reason, the appraiser is going to say no, it's way too high and you got to bring it down to a certain amount. Then you got to start renegotiating, it gets kind of crazy, everyone kind of, there's no happy parties at that point. So take my advice, price it right, price it very similar to the, uh, to the other people in your subdivision. Don't listen to Zillow, they didn't go in your house and look at all the features and everything. It's just a real approximate quote. Don't go off Zillow. Listen to your agent, but make sure your agent is getting good comps within your subdivision to price your house right and be willing to drop it right away if you're not getting offers within the first two weeks. So that's um, my suggestion to you guys. If you need someone to list your house, give me a ring.